know. I see you're here for that. Like it should be noted each time this happens. It's the weirdest thing because even though even though I always listen as start like from the start, there's always like that one second gap of just pure silence before the random noises happen. We gotta get that room tone, you know. <laughs> you gotta give the people clicking the video just that one second of pause, just to make sure that they're not gonna get assaulted by sound. And then assault them with sound. Mm. So anyway, greetings everyone and welcome back to the dark. Uh, the high noon of. Give me a sec. Welcome to the desert of misfortune. Today we find out who's going to live and get paid and who's going to die. The high tides of noon terror. I believe that's what There you go. <laughs> it took me a second though. Uh, well, I mean, we did just come up with it last, <laughs> last uh, week, so... <laughs> You get at least two breaks. <laughs> I mean, this is hopefully the last session of it before we get back to things next week. I say hopefully, because I've said this before, each time we've done a one-shot, then it's like gone on to two or three weeks. I mean, hey, it's just a small break from the original campaign. Yeah. So, last time. You all have been hired by Sheriff Caitlin to go ahead and bring in the... Desperado known as Cassiopeia, who had started leading a new gang to try and take over the small town. There was promise of a great reward, monetary wise, and that even though teamwork probably would be best, if some of you didn't return, that would just mean the price of the reward would go up for everyone else, given it'd be less people to share it with. She's not exactly saying that you should all stab each other in the back, but she more understands if you do. You travelled a bit out, heading out of town. You almost got hit by a train. Someone did get set, set on fire by a train. Oops. A certain cephalopod. Hmm... Oh no, it's happening again. What? Tap, 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 tap. I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm drawing! I know. I'm, I'm doing for... <laughs> All part of the narration, it's the woodpecker outside your window. It helps with the realism. <laughs> we don't have woodpeckers. No. Don't tell the viewers that. We don't have woodpeckers, but something I did notice earlier is just a little side tangent because I like to go on these for some reason. Do you know, like I keep saying that there's a large bat outside that I keep seeing flying yeah. around? Because we saw it again last night. I looked up British mm -hmm. bats. Apparently the largest bat we have here is the size of your palm. This thing's larger than the size of someone's palm. Might Perhaps. be escapee. Someone's fruit bat's gotten loose. <laughs> Maybe. I mean... They'd be not very okay, because we don't have a lot of wild fruiting trees. We don't. So. After almost being hit by the train, you encountered a couple of... Travellers just camping out for the night, and instead of taking them up on their offer, you decided to tiny hut in the middle of some cacti for protection. If I recall right, it was the porcelain lady who decided not to sleep in that, but sleep outside. Mm. Who woke up to a certain mm. desert varmint eating the cacti. Which then decided to bite their hand when they tried to feed them. 
which led to a fight which caused the creature to explode. Of course, that loud noise only drew the rest of the pack, which the porcelain lady decided to run while everyone else decided to hide. And we will pick it up from there with me having to do some quick rolls to see, well, first things first, how many are in this pack. Two is not a pack. It's a small gaggle. Who's a pack? It's a gaggle. That's better. <laughs> so. That's not even where his mouth is. That's where his nose is. What are you doing? Cry about it. Oh. <laughs> Gold. We all know in a f we all know in a fight of colors. <laughs> what? I, I said in a fight of colors, I'll win. Oh, yeah. that's not what I heard. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to know? <laughs> in a fight no, I, I of the I things like, that we <laughs> often speak. <laughs> so. After a while of trying to get through the barrier and pretty much failing, all but one, yeah. all but one leave. Nothing can get through that barrier without my permission. No, but it is trying its best. Control. Wow. We get a little <laughs> sensory no. there, are we? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. We have a small problem, sir. We have a, a very small problem. I've got those all on my mics for now. <laughs> so you so, so. uh. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're going to be in here for a while. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be here oh, for a while. God. Well, we're going to need some food in here. My head! Stop giving them suggestions! <laughs> and after a while, the fifth one will just head on off as well. Yeah. Just failing to get in and realizing it's been left behind. Oh, we've lost someone. Oh, I suppose a lot of us expected this, but, uh, I mean, I won't get bonked with an umbrella anymore. I appreciate that myself. I won't lie, I forgot that this character had that voice, and this is the last coherent line that you will hear from me for the rest of the game today. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest about it. So... They have all left. It is just you. What remains of the cacti. And some uh, viscera from the exploded one. I mean, should we just finish our rest and then get going in the morning? Uh, like a, uh... Whatever he said, which I'm assuming is yes, because that's what I was thinking, and what I'm thinking is right. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, just I can just imagine a waffle bird just like flying over. <laughs> Golder occasionally actually spoke. It was just. Oh, regularly. I was promised that that would be the last coherent sentence. It should, you? Yes. it should also be Narcissus as well. Mm -hmm. There is one missing. Who? Mm, me. 
porcelain lady is not in the bubble. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we all kind of did a uh, oh, that's not our problem. Um, <laughs> Sorry, but they they chose to run off. It should be stated that Galdor has actually only seen Porcelain Lady twice on this ent entire journey, which was one to the tavern and one to the camp. And Sorry, yes. Rod, but you haven't exactly inspired a great deal of loyalty so far. <laughs> Yeah, Dear keeps, Lord, shutting off. Galdor doesn't even realize she exists. Uh, at this point, I'm not even trying to. Once, once, once she was told that she didn't have to care about anybody. See, one thing was the mistake that the porcelain lady gave a shit about any of you to begin with, and she did run off towards the cliffs when she left. So she's ahead of you guys at this point yet again. Yeah, yeah and, but that's a con for you. Oh yeah, no, because I'm alone. I know. <laughs> I know. And they're just like, we're gonna do the sensible thing, rest, recover, and then go fight this gang. These multitudes of people with magical guns mm -hmm. that affect the undead in this universe. Although technically I'm not an undead. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Guns are guns. It's gonna hurt. Oh, guns, guns are always gonna hurt. It's also a gun. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like it's gonna hurt. It's like someone comes up to you with a flamethrower that uh, that that is particularly effective against werewolves. You're like, ha! I'm not a lycan throw, and then you get set on fire, and it doesn't matter anymore. Um, <laughs> exactly. Why did this just... So... Excuse explanation, me. But... Don't really know about anyone else, but Zobones is not going after the porcelain lady. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I, don't, I don't think any of us are. Okay. Calder wants it, to it is asleep, hasn't noticed. <laughs> uh. Uh. Ah! I think a moth smell a bit slower. <laughs> To be honest, it no, probably... the sensor bars have found me. <laughs> this would probably help if I was actually on roll twenty right now. It helps. So, yeah, you're missing Golda draw a mustache on Chase's mask in the oh, background. Jesus Christ. Do I need to take? Do I need to make the? <laughs> The shame holds room in this channel as well. <laughs> no, we don't need it. I will bring it back from the Devil Darlings if this goes. What the fuck? It, what? What's going on? We don't need another shame hole. Shame hole. What the fuck is the shame hole? Don't ask. You don't want to know. I it's want to know. I presume it's where the drawings go. When yes, yes it is where the drawings go to die. Um, if you no, it's, it's not. filled, it's it's not where the drawings go to die. It's where when Santa gets bored during the startup of games, he scribbles all over the entire blank page at the start. Yeah, we quite, hey, we quite literally had to make that channel just purely because it kept lagging Inferno out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, the shame hole was something that was originally created for my Dragon's game. Because of Mark. Also, it should be stated that Galder is... Like, he, he has at this point drawn not only a mustache, but like a monocle and a goatee. And it's like a fancy mustache. Like, it's one of those, like, pencil French mustaches that, like, oh, is God. commonly a joke. Oh, If you go up to that long, I'll make another... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So. Uh... Those of you who are still in the bubble, you finish up your rest. And by the points of you exiting, it's definitely like late morning, get into midday-ish. At least it is judging by the position of the sun in the sky. Can you all make me perception checks? Uh, if it'll let me. Oh, I uh, load up the wrong world once again, of course I did. <laughs> Which one did you load up? 
Uh, back you up to back your boogaloo. What will probably have happened is Roll20 is a tendency to... You, you'll try and load a game that will load the last one you were playing if you do it too quickly. Yeah. It does that. Okay. I just sort just of loaded it and didn't look again. Just a reminder, Galder is a kobold, so he's got disadvantage on perceptions. Is sunlight. Yeah. yeah. It is easy to forget that you're a kobold when you're busy making the screams of the damned. I mean, to be to be fair, he doesn't look very koboldy. He's like he's like a little uh, gila no, monster. No, kobold. I don't think I will. I not with all four of them. <laughs> so, sawbones and chess. Yeah, the course is clear. Uh, sawbones, you can just about make out what seems to be the boot prints from the porcelain lady in the sand, but the it is. Quickly being covered up by the wind. The sun is bright, universe. Ah, my eyes. Ah, fuck! Oh, oh. I can see our little light balls everywhere. I forgot to do my other what? thing. Let me do that real quick. Boop. And that yeah. is why you don't look directly at the sun. I come from <laughs> the sun is a little dark purple thing. I don't like this universe's sun. Make it darker. No. Either way. I didn't even know you had the power. Uh, technically make it darker. Really? Mm. I can make it quite dark. uh quite quite an impressive ability, really. I can make it darker. Uh, Watch, just put shades on them. <laughs> no, I could <laughs> I could, but it'd be wasting my channel divinity, so I'm not going to do it. Um, Galder would like to shoot the sun. Make an attack roll. It's a very good <laughs> thing to do, though. So you see Galder just shoot up towards the sun. This is a blunderbuss, by the way. I did think about this. <laughs> It takes a little bit, but then you do hear like a as something does land into the sand. I think you shot a bird. Yeah, it's a vulture. <laughs> He's just flipping off the sun. <laughs> I don't even think I'm a bit of a bad influence on him. Yeah, you, you, I don't. He likes the sun either. You shot a vulture. <laughs> Gold is just swallowing the vulture hole. <sighs> it's just doing the Wolfelberg scream as it hits the sand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this seems to be engaging the entire thing entirely. Last time I saw Cobalt try to do that, it was a pineapple and it was a very, very fancy ball. Is this the end of my life? Wabba! <laughs> Gold vanishes in a black hole. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out the vulture was actually an Egyptian vulture. <laughs> so, thank God I finally got it worked out. <sighs> Jesus, are you all proceeding towards the cliff still? Yeah, I mean, yep. Let's go. Same pace, or going the way? Are you all going at the same pace as everyone, or are you all just taking off at whatever fast speed you can? Try and stick with everybody, but I'll try and stay in front. Okay. Who Either is? You Riding the automobile, which is Chase. Usual <laughs> movement speed, unless he's blatantly getting left behind. Yeah. So I'm assuming 30 foot there. Yes. Yep. That okay. seems safe. Uh, actually, 40 feet for Galder. <laughs> yeah, it's sharp. But Galder's riding the Galder mobile, so. The Galder mobile, oh god. It's Chase! He's the Galder mobile now. <laughs> <laughs> The gently used Jinx, um... <laughs> what? The gently what? used lizard man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is cursed. C continue on, continue on, ignore me. Yeah, that, that is cursed. <laughs> so, as, you are, as you are all travelling, the porcelain lady, who is quite a bit further ahead, 
Mm. You can see the cliffs quite clearly. You can also see a pathway winding up. I believe you said you were wholeness of bodying. Yeah, so she's just gonna kind of like open her umbrella and just like create a small shaded spot around her and then like just like recover in almost like a dark mist. And then she's just gonna like snap the umbrella closed and put it back down. It's like she kind of also like gets it ready and like locks it into its closed position um, for the time being as she's plans if she has to she's going to like use it as a weapon because you know me yeah. giant metal umbrella it's it's my shield for this class <laughs> her umbrella is my shield <laughs> as you are almost a bodying it will give the rest time to catch up but as they are trying to do so i am going to need a constitution save from what is the name from Gaul because everyone else oh. you'd be used to the desert you know given you're either reptiles or hyenas oh I see right yeah, that's fair whereas you're not from this uh, reality you're not used to wandering around in a hot desert all right this is I what happens when you say fuck the lady with this. the umbrella. Hang on, man. Alright. Let's have a look at all of the shit I can do all of a sudden. Um, you know what? Uh, no, no time like the present. Uh, I'm going to choose to use my It Happened Like This. Was the roll of nine true, Mr. Lee? Mrs. Lee? It was Lee true. Lee. It was true. It is now a nine. Then I'm adding my uh, protection of the talisman to it, rolling an additional d4. That's really sad. It's really sad, but it also makes it a beat and beat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well played. Ta -da. It was planned from the beginning this way. I'm just Although... picturing in my mind that Gaul is getting like dried up, takes out a fucking bucket of water. Splashes himself. Like, quite literally, that's kind of what you do, uh, Gaul. Like, you're feeling the heat and that lot, so you just pull out, like, I'm assuming you've got, like, some kind of handkerchief or something, given how fancy your character sounds. Yeah. You just douse it in water from your... Canteen. Canteen, and just kind of rest it on your head. <laughs> Mm, very, uh, mm, yes. That hits the spot. Bila, just, you just suddenly hear sniffing. Does anybody else smell boiled calamari? <laughs> oh. oh, no, you do not. Keep going. And eventually up ahead, you will see what seems to be a spot of shade off to the side. And upon getting closer, it does seem to be just an umbrella perched up in the middle of the desert, with someone just huddled underneath it. Mm. As you do finally catch back up to the porcelain lady. Guess oh. they did too. Yeah. She didn't die. I'm going to enjoy more umbrellas in my future. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy more umbrellas, takes it, and just goes on walking. <laughs> um... You're gonna want him. He's he's gonna need to see if he can lift it. I'm not actually. Okay, because I was I gonna say, say my character myself. <laughs> I'm not that much of a dick. Yeah. Um. <gasps> my character is like nineteen. <laughs> I'm pre-looting. Um. Pre-looting and not dead corpse. <laughs> so. And not dead corpse. I know what you mean, but <laughs> the rest. Yeah. Of you... um... We'll also see now the cliffs a bit more clearly, including what seems to be a winding path going upwards to what seems to be like a naturally occurring cave. I bet it's a bit cooler in there, at least. <laughs> Is that the one we were talking about? Uh, who are you asking? Generally, to the group. 
Well, surely I'd look to, just just look to our employer. Your employer, our employer is with not you. with us. Yeah, Did our employer drew us. Is. Our our employer gave us a map, though. I can't remember who has the map. Well, it's say shit. Um, I don't have it. I know that I don't. Friggin' monster we hunter. Does Rana Rana have it? Bitch. We weren't given a map. Yeah, we were. We were shown where where to go. Uh, as far as I'm aware, we don't have. Okay, so then never mind. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. I guess go inside. Yes, I suppose that would be a very good way to work out what's inside. Yes, yes. Just gonna start taking a few steps inside. Gold <laughs> Gold is before you do that. Gold is gonna take out a stick of TNT. Boom, boom. If we do that, yeah, we won't be able to recover. We wouldn't be able to recover who we're supposed to be able to recover, which means no shiny money. Also, put that away money. around the hoverboard. <laughs> <laughs> Gold is like with his hands, like motioning, like a person, and just like a finger gun at the person. <laughs> We might be able to shoot them as long as it doesn't harm them. And well, I mean, it can harm them, it just can't kill them. We still need to be able to bring them back. Thought it was a... <laughs> we don't need them alive. Was this a living machine? We don't need, need them alive. alive. Well, oh, then in that alive. case... Then in that case, Galder just kill them. Anyway, but... Just stepping into the cave... <laughs> I just want the glory! <laughs> What's the matter? Okay, out of character, do I, do I understand the quest right now? I'm confusing myself. We're here to kill someone, not save someone, right? No, 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 we're, uh, here, to, we're here to either bring them in dead or alive. Yeah. It's a dead or alive I, just didn't, I just didn't know the dead part until yeah. somebody was like, we can bring them in dead or alive, and then I was like, oh yeah, we can just kill them. Yeah, well, I, I think they explicitly said dead, though. I don't think they ever said alive. I'm a cowboy. A, that's, why, that's, why I was, that's why I was confused as Galder. I was like, what? It's a dead or alive situation. Dead or alive. Preferably alive, but as long as you bring in a corpse, it's fine. So, my God. I found a map. I did not count how many cells across it was in that lot, and it's doing that horrible thing where it just doesn't look right now. <laughs> So feel uh, free to RP emoji cells or I'll sort this out. So Bone knelt down and is looking through their pack. Um that different have. Hmm. Gold, Gold is gonna slowly reach for something shiny in the pack. Just like a stethoscope smacks your hand. <laughs> <laughs> No touch in the medical equipment. It's expensive. Sylvian's just gonna bring her umbrella out in front of her. And everybody's just gonna hear a click. As she, like, kind of half rotates the hilt. That should do it. Hey, I got it sorted out. I got the correct width and height now. God is reaching for the bag again. Like... Just looks at him and is like, she, they will reach in, pull out like a small metal kind of disc with a symbol stamped into it and then just hand it to Golder. He's gonna take it. He's gonna try to eat it. <laughs> Won't do that. Not edible. It well, if you're all done preparing your different methods of blowing people to smithereens, I was ready about ten minutes ago. <laughs> well, here, and she just snaps the umbrella open. Get into the cave, dear. And I don't shoot people down. I bludgeon them to death. 
It's better to see them beaten to a pulp. Um, all right. I, uh... Oh, I've got to be honest. <laughs> I'm I a definitely thought that uh, I'm rather so much for, you know, stopping stuff coming to you. <laughs> I'm um, underestimating umbrellas. I'm gonna hang more towards the back. Make sure none of y'all die. Point. The porcelain lady's gonna look at you and be like, You're not severely underestimating umbrellas. It's just, this is not a standard umbrella. <laughs> Handcrafted, made from some of the toughest materials. It's pretty yeah. much a giant weighted shield weighing 250 pounds. 250 pounds! Strong lady. It took a lot to be able to learn how to lift it, but once I was able to, it became much of a fond weapon of mine. You know, the funny thing is, the smallest person of this party would be able to lift that with ease. <laughs> Your strength and my strength, I think, is only, like, one point apart. Yours is 20, no. isn't it? Play. Uh, yes. No, mine's 18. I'm a small race. I can't reach 20. Oh, okay. So I'm 19. Yeah. So yeah, we are still one, yeah. one apart. While uh, everyone's kind of chattering and getting ready outside, I'm going to walk up to the mouth of the cave. Uh, okay. And I do have dark vision. Okay. Uh, um, I'm going to see if I can see any movement or signs of people. Make me a... First things first, make me a stealth check. Okay. I'm a rogue, I'm not sneaky. Not at all. <laughs> I'm like seven foot nine. It's hard to be sneaky when you're this big. True. Hang a sec. Uh, make me a perception check. I'm very good at perception, though. I'll, uh, dismount and follow far okay. behind. Goodness, we're getting in there. Ooh, ooh, it's time. Yes! Uh, you can also make me a stealth and then a perception as well, then, Chess. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, um, I'm pretty far behind. I wasn't going to try and oh, okay. get with them. So, so I'm going to yeah. have my sword and shield ready. Okay, so mm. You do see movement. You see quite a bit of movement. Goal and chase. You don't see movements, but something does pick up on you. I search it, but you hear what seems to be rushing water. Is that what I hear? <laughs> what happened with me today? Uh, uh what? The... What? You said I see movement. What yeah. sort of shape do I see? People. 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 Oh lord. Um, have they, they've definitely seen me, right? I can tell. You can't tell at the moment, unfortunately. Okay. Really, because I ain't rolled for that yet. Um, but I hundred percent see the people. Okay. How many roundabout shapes am I seeing? Yet again, give me a second to actually sort out the map, so that okay. I know how many are fighting you. Um. Because this, this map's grid size, uh, yeah, this makes this map a lot bigger than I was expecting. While they're peering into the cave, um, the porcelain lady is going to take a few of, like, shinier brooches and things that would be on her, like, person, like, necklaces and other stuff like that. She's going to take those things off and, like, put them in a small bag, like, pouch attached to her belt. Um, and she's going to drop back with Chase, and she's going to, like, kind of sneak her way through this one and just kind of, like, it walk through the cave quietly. It should be noted as well, by the way, as you were coming up here, that there did seem to be, like, wagon trails. That's what I was looking for, signs of people, recent activity. Yeah. So I would have seen those first. So... You can assume from that that, yeah, there's been people here. 
almost as if there is like a trail of this going upwards. Hmm. Sneak attack. I do actually have sneak attack. Um, well, no, I'm not. I'm not actually sneak attacking. I'm just like sneaking because she's gonna like quietly move over by chase and just kind of like keep her umbrella open. But she's like very much like staying in the shadow of like the mountain, trying to just like not draw any attention to herself specifically. Mm -hmm. I'm literally just kind of standing there and staring in and trying to get a idea of how many bodies I'm seeing with my shield up. Yeah. I feel like this is the moment where, like, everybody's doing things. Chase and the porcelain lady are, like, hidden under the umbrella, sharing a granola bar. <laughs> are you hungry? She yes! Said, that, that <laughs> Josh. Josh, mm. do you know the Nature Valley bars that are like the dry bars that they just crumble to dust? Mm -hmm. uh, it has to be one of those bars that we're sharing. Yeah, she's home. Did you, did you know you could buy the bits that like break apart on the conveyor belt and they're better than the bars? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's much Okay, double loop. So. Oh, Jesus, what the hell's happening with the map? Right, I wonder what's... right click was somehow stuck, so it was just dragging right click along. So I tried to place things on, it was just moving them. I wonder what topics I learn in this plane of existence. I think I'm known as Calder. Purveyor in one of the other ones, and call a decimator. Oh, there's a few. Um, before we do anything, as the thing's still being um done, uh, real quickly, yes, Galder is going to give one of the fleshy magic sacks to Sawbones. Um, which is bolstering magic, basically, they can roll a d3 whenever they make an attack roll on an ability check. Um, they can also roll a d3 to gain back spell slots. I can give another two later on, but I can only give one per, per uh, one per, so. Okay. If you, yep, it lasts for like ten minutes, which is long in D&D &D time. I mean, that's like so, spells that last an hour, though. <laughs> I forget about them. Sawbones. You will see, figure-wise, and Galder as well, given that you got on that 20, though. In fact, Galder will see a bit extra on top of this. You will see. So, once you see 15 ships. Uh, what switch do you seem to be human? Aside from one that seems to be moving a bit differently. Uh, Golder, however. Give me a sec. I'm trying to sort this out while. I'm still making the map, so... Oh, it's okay. You're telling valuable information to the one character that can't tell the others. <laughs> this was the issue with Calder back when we were in Bilgewater. He would always be the first to know things, but he couldn't tell other people. And... Okay, so... If I recall right, I said to Sawbones, 15 people, one of which seems to be moving a bit different. And Caldy, on top of the those, you see what seems to be a few wagons parked up? A few horses moving in what seems to be a pit. 
and two extra people on top of what Sawbones can see. Galder's looking down at his three clawed hands. Hi, dear fellow. What? Sorry about that. I had to take the phone down to my mum. That's fine. Did I... What did I miss, guys? Uh. uh... Golder attempting to explain to us what, uh, what he sees inside the cave. <laughs> Indeed. I mean... Yeah, do you know how to write? Because we are in a giant chalkboard, uh, if you could just write it uh, in the sand. Uh, 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 Galder's going to write... <laughs> that wasn't very helpful at all. Uh, hold on, I think I get it. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> it's just like another five minutes of just him staring intently as Gold is like eh, eh, and just like nodding yes. 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 He just looks back. I don't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you do see that's ahead. Do you need a quick refreshment of what you saw there, Deal? Um I know it's people, all... one of which was Wiggle Wiggles. Okay. Well, I say Wiggle Wiggles. Moving strangely. Differently. Yes. <laughs> all right. Oh, it's time for us to raise hell. Why would you say that? Because <laughs> there's a lot of people in there who wants to uh, move on strangely. So I think what that fellow was trying to say. Oh, does enjoy hell? Sort of squints into the darkness. You're not seeing things, friend? Galder. Galder's just gonna take out a skull, start drawing runic circles. Yeah. <laughs> No. Oh. My eyes are perfectly fine. So you're entering. God is ready. God is ready to fight. Yeah, Golda will enter. Okay. And Sylvian will. I mean, Sylvian just. Um, the personal <laughs> lady will just kind of sneak behind, staying in like a stealthy. Give me one. Order. Give me one sec. Um. Okay. So I am going to first hold on before we move in. I was gonna say, I'm gonna give you all just like a little bit of time to prepare what you're doing here because I do need to quickly do a BRB myself. Okay. Yeah. Or we even move in. I'm I am going. I'm leaving this recording, so if you all say bad shit, I'll have it on record. <laughs> so, so, said that. Uh, I can make us all a little tougher. Um, so first I'll go to Galder. Oh. Um, I'll touch your head. Uh. And you will get 1d4 temporary hit points plus my spellcasting modifier. Blah. You get 7 temporary hit points. Um, I'll d tap Gaul on the shoulder, you'll get uh, six temporary hit points. What a rush! Um, I'll 
tap chase as well. You'll get six, seven temporary hit points again. You see the fins retract a little. And then the porcelain lady will get seven as well. Um, and I'll tap myself and give myself six temporary hit points. Um, that's a cantrip. That's great. Um, and then how long... Uh, does this one last? This other one that I want to do last? Um, up to a minute, so I'll do that just before we go in. Uh. But, Seven yeah. temporary hit points is wonderful, especially considering that means that that's just like one time around that I don't have to use my reaction of shielding myself. Mm. I'm back. Welcome back. I, I can't like do that in the middle of combat. That's why I was like, wait, wait, wait. Well, see, <laughs> like I can, but that's only because like her weapon isn't really her weapon. Like she doesn't actually beat people down with her umbrella. She beats people down with like. Well, actually, wait. Do I have that set up as an attack? Because I don't think I do. Yeah, no, I don't. So she literally just beats people down with her fists. Wait, are you a monk with a shield? I'm a monk with a shield, yes. What kind of monk are you? Um, I'm not really a true monk. I literally am kind of like just a regular basic dragonborn monk. She just learned to fight with a shield. Like, a porcelain lady just learned to... It was like she always carried around an umbrella. So she eventually made herself like a heavier umbrella and like learned to fight with it and like her reflexes so that she can like shield herself uh, with it. It's pretty I much more or less just defense, like yeah. Then. Because you huh? can't have an armor defense with a shield. I can't have what? You an armor you, you can't uh, a shield is armor. You can't have an armor defense with a shield, so you don't have much AC then I'm taking it. I I I I don't. I don't, have, okay. I don't have any. Yeah, my AC is, is with 12. with my de which runs off of my dexterity. No, my AC runs off of my dexterity, which is it makes it fourteen. Okay, so because no, I have nineteen for dexterity and nineteen for strength, those are my two it, highest. It stats. doesn't. You don't. You you don't have an armored defense. It's your natural plus your dragonborn plus your shield. Yeah, but yeah. you still get dex to your AC. Yeah, that's what, like, the shield is... The defense the... adds wisdom as well. For monks. I'm thinking barbarian. I'm thinking barbarian. Don't listen to me. You're right, you're right, you're right. Monks... I'm thinking... Yeah. Monks, monks use wisdom. Don't... Yeah, monks use wisdom, but you still won't get an armored defense. But... Yeah. Um, you will still add your decks. Yes, you 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 are you are right in that. You are right in that. I'm thinking the wrong. Yep. Yeah. So my 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 armor class is 14 in the end, and that's just because the umbrella is more or less of a. She doesn't use it all the time. Like she'll straight up take damage. It's kind of like the shield spell, I guess. Quote quote. Is how she would use that shield. Going. First, maybe the dude with 18 AC should go before you. I also Didn't have 18 AC. That's why I have the umbrella, Austin, because I left myself weak. But yeah, no, maybe uh, me and Galder should be up front because we both got high AC. Sneaking around. I rolled a 22 for stealth, like... I get the feel. Feel free to go first. <laughs> Thing. This is the thing. All of you have dark vision. <laughs> I do not. I don't. No, yeah. Dragonborns don't have dark vision. No, no, you do. Cause I'm a twilight dru I'm a twilight cleric. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We we, we would I'm all have dark vision. Oh I didn't realize. I've just been squinting into the darkness like uh -huh. Uh -huh. So basically, just as we're going here, again, you all suddenly can see in the dark. <laughs> So, for an hour, I'm going to need a marching order. Um, I'll take second to last. 
And also, my dark vision's like 300 feet. So you're yeah, taking second to last. I I, I'm going it. front with Galder. Yep. Uh, Chase, whereabouts are you going? Uh, close uh, to Sawbones, so probably behind them if they're with Galder. Yeah. I'm uh, going to tap Galder on the head again, and you'll have advantage on your next initiative roll. Gol? Uh, I suppose I'll I take the back. Don't do that because I'm a barbarian. I already get that. Oh, right. I'm going, uh, yeah, I'm going already to already get that. I'm going to say, <laughs> unless they come in somewhat in part of the fight, Rana's character is going to stay outside just to keep guard, make sure no one escapes. Uh, okay. I think Rana okay. still has two hours of work today. So. Uh, uh, you have advantage on your next initiative roll. He mm -hmm. does. Who does? Chase. Okay, thank you. Are you Bobby all being sneaky? Is ready. Are you all I am. I, I'm, I am. I'm keeping my 22 that I rolled earlier. She's just gonna kind of like sneak in. If I'm if if Chase is up front, then the porcelain lady is last in line because in front of her it would be Gaul. Yeah. So if we're going off uh, those, Chase got a 21. Yeah. Uh, porcelain lady got 22. Uh, Sawbone's got an 8. So I just need one from Golder and one from Gol. Gol will only stealth if literally everyone else does. Well, they yeah, are. that's where all we're all stealthed at this we're trying to. Oh, let's... Gol literally pretty much doesn't even yeah. try. <laughs> He's still just like shouting and speaking as we go. Okay. <laughs> He's way too excited and... Quite frankly, you might get the idea that stealth isn't part of his repertoire. Yeah. <laughs> so as you yeah, roll, as you being roll, pew, pew, pew. As you roll oh. head into the cave. <laughs> you all pretty much make it to what seems to be where it starts to open up and less be in a corridor and more the actual cave interior itself. And I am Sawbones, since you are the biggest target of them. Those behind Sawbones would see three red dots line up onto Sawbones. Fine. <laughs> I have a lot of health and a lot of AC. All That's it. Is she dead yet? No, because they haven't fired. Because several other people then do rush out, aiming guns towards you all. I kind of got to speak up at this point and go, well, seems we're all a little trigger happy. Well, that was well isn't that what happens when your territory is encroached upon? If you don't believe it, I believe it, man. You, stop talking. People nah. do hand yeah. shoot their doctors, though, do they? Actually, in this case, it would be even better to get rid of you if you're the new doctor. That's why we got rid of the old one. Why did you get rid of him again? Because we need to be better for our plans if we had the doctor under our thumb. And something tells me, given you're here with that slip of paper, this isn't really going to be one of those cases. Of course we are, but I gotta run my clinic. Clinic needs money. You are a cash cow. Uh, okay, how close are you, including the snack? Let me hop over to the battle map without dragging you all over there so I can measure out first to see who would be. It just uh, depends because I do need to specify what spell I'm readying okay. if I am to ready one. Um, the closest person to you lot would be roughly 80 foot away. 80? Okay. Yeah, that's a. Uh, um, it said this is a big old battle map. All right. And how far would the snack be? From your position where you will all be, starting... 
around 135-140. Is it possible we could see the battle map and make it a lot easier? Or is it not quite ready yet? It's ready, it's just I need to reveal something first before we do so. Oh, okay. Uh, so, well, I, I guess I'll ready... I guess I'll ready summon Aberration. Can I see her properly from where I am? Yeah, yeah you see her. She's quite near the back. Uh, just in front of what seems to be some carved steps going upwards. Which does lead to, like, a platform over the top with a wooden bridge connecting two areas. I will, um... And to your left is a raging waterfall. Those of you who are more familiar with this town know that this is the source of the town's water. Mmm. I'll, um, whisper to Sawbones, like, you seem to know what you're doing, so give us a signal and I'll rush ahead. Just kind of nods as if nodding to self. <laughs> I think you're... Well, if we're gonna die anyway... the heck is it that you're planning that you need a doctor for? Isn't it simple? You see those jars over there, in the boxes, near the water supply? Hmm? What do you think's those full of? Pence! Poison of some sort. Ooh. Poison the water supply, and then have the doctor in the town be on the right firm with the only antidote to it. We're planning to extort them? Is it really extorting when you're saving lives? Granted, we're the ones that put the lives hey. in danger, but they don't know that. Uh, the has got his hand up. <laughs> yes. What? Defeat the object of your telephone, your evil plan. I mean, I, I'm not going to call myself an expert on this sort of thing, right? But you don't tell people, Liz. You're the maps, my boy. You're expecting to get out of here alive. Yes. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're expecting that... to get out of your life. Yes. <laughs> With my laugh aside, you would actually hear Chase chuckle. I mean, it's sort of my M.O. <laughs> like, yeah, this one's annoying. Hmm. Of course, I can't take all the credit to myself. Then don't! Oh? What are the names involved? What did the sheriff tell you? Much. Sheriff, well, purposely vague like normal. Did she tell you Mo that I am the one in charge now? In charge of what? The clan. The clan? Your, this place? These? Indeed. Frankly, not very intelligent looking. Compatriots ears. You just have one of them pipe up in the back. I've got a PhD. <laughs> well, full offense intended, my friend. But you can't be that smart if you're working for her. I've got a doctorate. <laughs> Again. Okay with these people. <laughs> Smartness and wisdom are two different things. <laughs> Can't be intelligent if you're working for her. I don't know where the money is. <laughs> no, me. Like... Not gonna like... argue. God. Not gonna argue with that. That being said, a doctor, being a doctor's thankless. That said, I'm not the one in charge here. I'm just the one that knows the place better. I didn't think you were in charge. I'm sorry, but you kind of lack the vision. No. Needed. That belongs to the twin sons. 
Twin Sons. Yeah. Uh, the names just keep getting dumber. But, it's just the one calling themselves Sawbones. Nah, the town calls me Sawbones. It's a term for doctors here. My name's Billy. I just thought that called to the near same party member, or your villain's normally this talkative. So, uh, Gol walks out of the cave and starts walking back towards the town to try and find the near same party member. <laughs> Yeah, because there is no same here. here. Um, it's like... I was about to say, I think the closest would be Chase. Yeah, he's here, though. Like, but it's like... No, look, sweetheart, I ain't got all day. And then... A voice calls out from up above. Just up the stone steps. And now do we... Two figures. Come on, emerge. everyone's doing a monologue today. Come on down, introduce yourselves. I'll make you a cup of tea. <laughs> Two figures will emerge. One of which will stay on, up on top. The other one will quite literally take a running leap and land at the bottom of the steps. Expecting? I was expecting a giant ball of fire. <laughs> oh, I can provide that quite handily. Yeah, I, you... I shouldn't give you ideas. Hmm? What do these two look like? I'm glad you asked. I'm pretty sure I know who they are, but... Go on. Oh my god. That's who they look like? Uh, I thought so. <laughs> as soon as you mentioned sons, I was like, oh, she's using the twins. That's what they look like. Albeit more dressed for the occasion. That's right. I can already tell from the amount of monologuing you're doing, you like to, uh, you know, put everything on the table. I'm guessing you're the fire one and you're the ice one. Am I right? No. Oh. <laughs> Both fire. Hence oh. why we're called the twin sons. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were dudes. It's not like you have a rack or anything. My bad. Calm down. <laughs> Calm your tits, if you will. <laughs> I feel like everyone's just looking at Gaul now, including the rest of the party. <laughs> it's just like a... Just, like... just, just so Bones has got a look of... Uh... Oh, shall we begin? Because I'm getting bored. Indeed. Now I can transfer you over to the. Oh, wait, are we map. starting combat? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Place yourselves down here. Bottom right. So down where down here is. Um, Bottom right. Recognize this map. I was going to say, gonna... <laughs> as soon as that map came on, I'm just like, I've played on this map three times, god damn it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think it was a, it was it's a really game. good map. I love it. I think this is the first time I've used this map. It is. It's like it's like the go-to one-shot map. Cause it's just so good. Also, let me make sure I don't do a penfold there and make sure the turn order is one hundred percent clear. And we're going to blowing them, blowing them, blowing them away. I can't think of songs that this will go with. Let me add the peeps here. I am not adding the horses to the turn order. They are not enemies. They are horses. But you do see around you five different kinds of troops, essentially, but On the... We'll get to them when Oh my goodness, Calder! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! 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 wow. <laughs> Yikes! Wow! Oh, 
Uh, gold is gonna spend a luck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where are you doing that? There we go. There we go. There, that's better. That's better. That 20's good. Remember, Chase has advantage. Yeah, yeah. I got. I did the advantage. Cool. It was a 19, then a 16. Uh, let's do... Oh, well, yeah, I will spend a lucky point on my initiative. Spice? I didn't know you could do it on initiative. Well, it's technically a skill check, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is technically, um... It's a, it's a dexterity check. Uh, yeah, I believe technically it's just an ability check, so yeah. Oh, okay. That's a 10 for them. That's a 7 for... Them. It's Jesus Christ, it's just descending now. Uh, the seven for them. Did you remember to be level with twins? What? Oh, wait, no, because we're all level eight. Never mind. Yeah, you're all level eight. The twins are level eight. Yeah. yeah Given that's, that uh... the enemy's uh, CR is below eight for everything else, including Cassiopeia. Yeah, please. You should be fine. Yeah, that doesn't make this anything less terrifying. Let's just pretend for a minute that this many enemies doesn't, like, send the XP multiplier through the roof. If we ever did XP. Well, I'm not saying that, of course, the XP... It is still how you're supposed to work out CR. I'm... I don't do it that way. Just make sure that no one's Yeah, usually just off. put one big fuck off thing in front of us and we walk around it because fuck you, no combat. Oh, um, we do have a double. <laughs> uh, who has the higher initiative bonus out of goal and Sawbones? Your, oh, Sawbones does with a four. Yeah. There we go. So. I rolled I... an 18 and didn't go to the initiative thingy. Party is ready. Are you. Ah, oh, there we go. And yours is not. Do, 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 do. 18 for there. Descending. So. Just remember, I've got my shield and rapier out. Yep. So the first one up would be the blue one of the twins. Alari. The blue one. Yes, Wait, but you what? don't know their names. No, but I know them. <laughs> And why, why, why are they the first one up? Because they got a 23. Golda got a 20. Did you? Yeah, Golda got a 20. Yeah, he, 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 25. Golda's before them. But you're not on the turn order because <laughs> D&D Beyond. That's why. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've got, I've got the picture of Waffleberg down. Yeah. So yeah. let me just correct that. There we go. Yeah, I was, I was, I was about, to, I was about to say. It is Galder first. And Galder is going to go full 40. Whee! Can I also just state, when uh, I downloaded this map, I didn't expect it to be this size. Yeah, it is massive. It is a Chonkosaurus Rex, and that's how we like it. To be fair, I believe this map was made for a dragon fight, because this is supposed to be a dragon slayer. Uh, yeah, the, that, that group there, they're going to get a bundle of about five TNT sticks, which is all I've got. I spent all my money on TNT in a blunder bus. <laughs> which group, sorry? Uh, the group is... Uh, da, 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 da. It'll be right here because it's five. It expands by five feet, so five times five is twenty-five. Twenty-five, but max is twenty. So twenty feet. Everybody within this area is gonna be taking uh five d six damage. Okay. <laughs> Oh, sorry, they have to, sorry, sorry, before they take the damage, they have to make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. That I just has said, to be stated. 
I just had to check then, just to make sure you weren't going to blow up the head of a horse. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't be the worst thing that's ever happened. I'm being handed food. There we go. <laughs> so, from top to bottom, given there's only four of them there, they're all rolling on a three, a twelve, a twenty-one, and that twenty. Lay. And a twenty-two. Yes. I am going to hold my turn, um, but she's going to hide behind that rock until I get back. Um, I just have to run and do something really quickly, I just realized what time it is. Okay, also who the hell just that? Uh, I don't know. Um, the, the 12 is the only failure, everyone but the 12 is taking uh, half damage. Aside from the nat 20 boy, because that's how I've always done nat 20s. Yep. So, uh, this boy here, here taking nothing, the other two taking half, the guy nearest to the wagon is taking full. And in fact... Everyone who is taking damage, by the way, um... Ooh. Oh no, never mind, I read that wrong. I read that wrong, that's just the radius of the damage. Oh. Okay. Could be a total of 18 damage. 18 damage, so halved would be mm. 9. Yes. Okay. Um, and with that, because that was an attack, uh, we're also, because we're a level 8 barbarian, uh, extra attack. I'm shooting uh, the, the fucker on the rock with my blunderbuss. Okay. It should also be noted, as that thing exploded, you've quite literally also blown up this wagon here. Okay. Gold is too dumb to care about any poison. Alright, the wagons don't have the poison. Yeah, no. It's, it's, it's just it's a right wagon here. that's on, now destroyed and on fire. So it, <laughs> it's not exactly covering, <laughs> but it is a hazard. We're using the Golder Cannon. And a 12. 12 is a miss. It is a miss. Alrighty. Uh, and then that's the... Uh, that's Golder's turn. Okay. Gets to the Blue Twins' turn. If I recall right. The sheer fact that I have to zoom out this much just to measure stuff up for this fight. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Alari is surprisingly physical contact based. Oh my. For a sorcerer cleric. She's a phoenix sorcerer, isn't she? Mm hmm. Yeah, that explains the physical contact. Mm. It's actually hard. <laughs> she can't do much aside uh, from just move the stone because everything is out of range. Mm-hmm. It's okay, the majority of people won't be able to do much. So all she's doing is just dashing across the bridge. Chess. Yes. It is you. Um, they will first check the range of their weapons. <laughs> Okay. Um, Alrighty. They will hop on the board. Thank you. Begin to sway. Ah, that's why. Okay. Oh yeah, more than enough range. Lovely. And. Hmm. So Galder started on some over here, didn't he? Yeah. And is that cover? Yeah. Okay. A uh, question: so, Is that cover blown up by the dynamite? It looks pretty solid, to be honest. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, However, I mean. 
This rock here should be fine, the one that the guy stood on. The pillar itself. <laughs> that probably was sustained quite a lot of damage and therefore probably not the most reliable thing to either hide behind or stand on. Okay. Um, going to draw a rifle and take a pot shot at that guy. Okay, go for it. Uh, do I have any um, buffs from anyone right now? A lot got thrown around, or is it just initiative and temp hit points? Uh, initiative and temp hit points. Plus okay. you can see mark. You, you don't have disadvantage. Well, I don't know if Lee's doing that. It's okay. It's a lit up place anyway. Coolio, let's go. Sure. A 15 will hit. And again, I think. Yep. No. <laughs> okay. You're hitting the one that's on then... top of the rock, aren't you? Yeah, that one. Okay. And then after those shots, they will um, kick flip up their um, hoverboard and just hold it in front of them for cover. <laughs> Then after doing Actually, those shots, they're just going to do an ollie. There is... Actually, yeah. I'm missing out something very important. Um, <laughs> they kick flip up their hoverboard, use it as a shield, whilst another version of themselves hoverboards ahead. Oh, okay. I'm going yeah. to need um, another thing. <laughs> I'll make that blue. Um, they will... Sorry, I might not have read into this properly. Give me a sec. It's fine. New Hi. character. Uh, bonus again. Yep. And the it'll joy, just, uh, joy of Echo Knight. Start rushing past um, Galder. <laughs> you know, the beauty is, though, the, the Echo Knight clone isn't a clone. It's another version of you from a different timeline. On your turn, you can... Oh my god, it can go even further. That's great. Yeah, the Echo Knight. Jeez. I love Echo Knight. He's, he's wonderful. This is great. They're just going to start... Um... They're going to end there. They're going to take the attacker. Oh, I should have done that first. Oh, now I know. Uh, they will just um, stay here and threaten this one. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> it gets to the other twin's turn. Punchy twin. Ooh. She's going to move here and then dash. Get here behind this flaming wreckage. Do you want to know something dumb? Oh. Always. Because I can. Uh, she can dash twice. Who can dash twice? Don't oh. worry. Oh, Monks can dash as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. She's not wrong. Uh, no, that's they can use dash as a bonus action. Yeah. They, no, but as a bonus action, they can spend a key point to dash again. Yeah. You're right. You're it's, right. Yeah, that's that's what she's talking about. Because like I'm I'm looking at my monk sheet right now on D and D Beyond, and it's like you can spend a key point to do extra damage as a bonus action, to dash as an action, and like other shit. Blah yeah. blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> Crazy monk bullshit, you know. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's what I, was... I mean, let her come, because quite honestly, I'd rather them take the time to get to us than us take the time to get true. to them. <laughs> I mean, so true. An extra dash to <laughs> will not help and will just leave her exposed, so. Fair. It is... Me. Yep. And I, I have a returned. It's funny, because I'm just thinking... Uh... 
15. About how One second. Just fucking reckless as hell. Look, I'm just happy we're not fighting Waffleberg. Wait. Oh, wait, no, no. Right there. Yep. Just, we... just looks like the fight's done. You get it ready to exit. Waffleberg just jumps out from the water with a whopper. It's just gonna, like, put her umbrella away and, like, sheathe it. And then she's just gonna kind of, like, stand. Just be like, it's a contingency Sweet. plan. It's contin yeah, exactly. I only have to hit you with it if I can't beat you with my fists. <laughs> no, the contingency plan is when, they're, when you're dragging them away, it's just Waffleberg leaps out of the water with a whopper. <laughs> Now I am a contingency. Don't make us press the red button. You don't want to know what happens when we press the red button. There's just a red button at the end. Of, no, it summons Waffleberg. There's just a red button at the end of the umbrella. <laughs> I just find it funny that in this universe, apparently the twins are villains. <laughs> Alari, like Alari, I can understand. Delris is too dumb. Honestly, just, just that's why is. she's there. Because oh, Alari probably convinced her that it was a good thing to do. Honestly, you, you thought that was great, but I just imagine... You're all looking past the fact that if Waffleberg was the villain here, uh, Lee would have to voice them. <laughs> yeah. Now imagine if it was Alexander. <laughs> I'd make you do an entire Alexander speech. There's nothing you could do to stop me. You're doing an Alexander speech. So first things first. <laughs> My name is Alexander. I like to shoot things. I am Alexander. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> Sadly, my character would probably be the easiest for Lay. Because she'd only have to lighten her voice a little bit. Lighten her voice and up her arm? You Not even. That. She literally, like, my character doesn't have a crazy voice. She just has a normal voice. So, like, uh, how did we go from combat to character voices? I don't know, but let's go back <laughs> oh, to yeah. combat. Who's dying first? Because I, my turn's way. done. Yeah, okay, yeah, my turn's been done. I can only, I can only move right now. Everybody's too far away to touch. Okay. I'm trying to work out who it is who's next. Because I'm trying to highlight... Oh. Yeah, there's Sniper Man. I kind of fuck. Yeah. That, I think that's the issue I was having. I was trying to highlight whose turn it is next. And realize that maybe I was hovering over the wrong person, but the right unit. <laughs> so yes, it is the Sniper Peeps. There are three of them. Which means three shots are going to ring off. Because what you know it, lovely thing about snipers, unless you get bad cover, they've got full range of this place. Ew. Unfortunately, for the one up near where Alari started, this rock is constantly in cover, so they can't really shoot Sawborns or Grey uh, uh, Gaul. <coughs> Everyone else is free game, though. So, first one first is going to shoot. Don't you dare. The first one's actually going to take a pot shot at the Echo, because it is the furthest one along. 17. Josh? Josh? Sorry, hi. 17 on your echo. Uh, on the echo? Um, hold up. Do they still count as having a shield? Uh, like the spell? Uh, oh, it doesn't even matter. It just has a set AC. Um, that Hitched. is... 
like his uh thingy. Yeah, it, it it completely depends on whether it gets the shield bonus or not, which it I doesn't mean, say got... whether it does or not. If if he's got a shield, it does. Echo Knights can use all gear that you can. It's okay. usually safe to presume that uh, illusions or anything that's even like I, I know it's not actually an illusion. Let's not get into the technicality mm -hmm. here. They don't <laughs> tend to get additional AC bonuses from anything. Ooh, um, controversy. Th think of them as simulacrums, though, um, which do, because that's basically what they are. They're a simulacrum of you from another timeline. Um, the dudes, the Road Ebron, basically said that, yeah, they get AC bonuses if they've got a shield. Okay. It's like with uh, Steel Defenders. If, if your Steel Defender has arms and you give it a shield, it gets that bonus from the shield. So well, why wouldn't your you shield have... defender have arms? That's my question. Uh, yeah, yes, so, well, it's up to you then. If it has a shield, it it protects. If it doesn't, it dies. <laughs> it protects. Okay, it does not hit. It's also it's like... much more tragic when an Echo Knight's Echo dies because that's not. It's it's not an illusion. It's a real you from another timeline that you just got killed. A twenty-one does hit though. <laughs> like, he feels pain. A 21 yeah, will yeah. hit it, though, won't it? Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> it just... Explodes. Viscera everywhere. <laughs> and the third one oh. is going to take a pot shot. At Goldie. Oh, thank God. 23. Yeah, that's a hit. Think about sniper people. They got crazy good range and they hit crazy, but they all get Shit one damn. shot each. Which one? Sh actually, which one's shooting at Galder? This one, all the way here. Uh, which one? Uh, towards bottom left. Oh, okay. How is he? Oh, oh, okay. I see which one it is. Never mind. I was going to say, if it's the one at the top left, uh, Galder's tiny, he wouldn't be able to yeah. see Galder because of this. Uh, seven damage. Okay. So, Bones. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um. So. <sighs> what did I do? I don't know, what did you do? Apparently tried to print the page. Um... <laughs> Meanwhile, over at Geek Retreat, they're just getting something through on the printer somehow. Um, so firstly, there. Uh... Um... I am going to... Pass looking at my ally over here. Let's make sure just um I am going to cast bless. Okay. Um so Chase, uh, Lady, and Golder, um, all have Bless upon them right now, so whenever you make an attack or throw before the spell ends, you can roll a d4 and add it to the rolled number. Lovely. Um, and that is gonna be me. Yep, go. Go! I was the name for a second, man. Alright. I have no fucking idea what I want to do. I basically got one cast. What do I do? So don't mind me, I'm going to measure for that. Uh... Pew, 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 pew. Uh... 
I almost imagine Gaul like holding up a finger gun. Where do I shoot first? I almost <laughs> took that spell. Finger guns. <laughs> pew pew! Uh, insanity. Alright, well. I'm never gonna be able to do that. Not on a fucking combat, let's take uh... So. I think I'm going to leave my spells for when I'm a little more sure of yeah. while the best way to use them would be. And so I will stick to, uh, ye old war or warcock, sure, warlock classic. World of, world of warcock. <laughs> <laughs> Eldritch Blasto! It's gonna be the Elder Bacho! Gaspacho my Matracho, uh... I'm gonna have at you. Um. Uh, 120 feet. Yeah, they're within range. And of course, because I'm a basic bitch, I have agonizing blasts. Mm -hmm. All right. So I choose those two targets, the two that are closest. The one on the rock and this one. Yep. Okay. Uh, do I of them have cover of any description? No. Good. 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 Eldritch Blast number one! You. Which one's number one targeted? Bottom one. That hits? This way? Nice. It takes seven force damage. And then on the other one, 20. Whoa. That's a hit. 11 force damage. <laughs> Uh, how much cover does this rock give me? Uh, depends. Are you ducking behind it? Uh, like you wouldn't be able to stand behind it and get cover, but ducking behind it would be enough. I was going to go prone for extra cover. Um, <laughs> I mean, it would give ranged attacks disadvantage on you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go behind here, uh, I will go prone behind it, which means disadvantage on range attacks, and I mean, come on, at least half cover. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I got a plus two to my AC. Nice. Well, you know, assume it's from a direction that matters, but blah, blah, blah. Pedantics, pedantics, that is me. Okay. Pretty, pretty solid rounds, considering I didn't do much. <laughs> Next up, I had a rifle, man. Come on, the rock's gonna stay where he is. These guys are gonna move forward a bit. You can move one more. Sorry. Okay, just need to make sure that that was all for those guys. Yep, yeah, that's all for those ones. There's just three of them. They are going to take aim and fire, depending on if they've got the range. Screaming and fire, death to Just about. They're, they are just about in range. Fortunately, that does mean that they all have to toggle Golder because Golder's the only one in range. Why? They're not man enough to move towards a woman? No, it's just that. Technically, one of them could move more. Gold is gonna look up at the porcelain lady. Uh, Don't uh, worry about it, dear. Just consider one thing. You're stronger than they'll ever be. So the first person gets a 15 and a 22. Jesus, where are they getting this advantage from? It's not advantage. 20 plus 3. Oh. 
Oh, no, wait, these are rifles. Oh, these are rifles. What am I about? So, one gets a yeah, 15, I was, I was, one gets a 22, was, one gets a 15. Okay, the 15s missed the 22 hit. I was like, where, where are all these rolls coming from? If this is the case, Waffleberg should be able to do this. Uh, <laughs> 11 damage. 11 okay. damage. This is fuel for the fire. Would my Echo have survived them? <laughs> no. Because they, they'd only get the one shot. No, they got two. No, the right, the snipers all got one shot each. Okay. It's they just that just your echo got targeted by two of them. Ah, wonderful. Yeah. There's three snipers. I was targeted by one, two targeted the echo. <laughs> now everybody's just targeting. I'm targeting our poor little friend. It's so mean. So Don't worry, I'll have an happen. I mean, you think it's so mean. I'm a barbarian. This is fuel for the fire. That's true. Question. When you dash, does that take up the full turn, or does it leave you with a bonus uh, action? Yeah, you, can, you, you can't use attack with a dash, but you can use your bonus action. Okay. The dash takes up your attack action. Okay. So you still get a reaction and a bonus action. Okay. Unless so. you're rogue. Dash, 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 But that's her turn out Ash, and that is her turn done. Because she doesn't have any bonus action stuff. Next up would be. Uh, let me run other, the drag. Other gun people? Yep. For some reason, it won't let me do the normal drag thing. Pew pew. Next up, are the shotgunners. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> Who are How does one get close to a shotgunner? The what do you do? The it's Arabins. a midi. It, it, it's a Wild West shotgun. They're meant for ranged, anyways. Yep. They are a bit slower though, because mm -hmm. the guns are a bit heavy. So they move there. They also have less range on the shotguns. Because even though, even though Wild West shotguns are meant for range, these are high-noon shotguns. Yeah, it's, it's the common media, the yeah. non-historically accurate. Which I know probably pains you, given... No, no, it's, yeah. it's benefiting me so far. Yep. Huh? Four of them is just in range of you, though. I mean, do it. <laughs> Make me stronger. I dare you. <laughs> Golda's looking at them confused. The face is that of, how did you miss with a shotgun? All the bullets just made the shape of a Golder. Yep. This boy here is going to dash. I didn't even see that. Yep, oh, there he is. And he's going to duck down behind this crumbling pillar. We'll kill him first. Oddly enough, uh, Sobons, this is the one that was shouting back at you. Hmm. I thought I was talking to the snake lady. Well, when there was another one that was shouting, I have a PhD, I've got a doctorate. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah, that's them. Doctor Dickhead, lads. Now come up these people with the swords. Oh no, look. He can't get in range unless he dashes. <laughs> this man has made mistakes. That's Many. Man, that man is not the brightest. He's the one who dropped out of high school. 15, 20, 25, 30. 
I'm pretty sure there was one, two mm -hmm. more. Yeah. 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 And there we go. Goldie. Well, still staying in the dude's range, Goldie's going to slowly move around him. Um... Oh, uh, by the way, Goldie. Mm -hmm. Before you move, I'm going to need something from you. What's up? Constitution 7 Pro. Oh, that was a constitution check. Uh, that would actually, sorry. <laughs> that would actually be a 22. It were a pass either Oh way. my. Okay. You just feel like a slight tingle from your body as you look towards Cassiopeia before shaking it off. I mean, Galdas, that's not the only thing Galdas shaking off. Um... Because Gold is going to rage. Oh no. <laughs> uh, and as Gold just shakes, like just the, the scales are like falling off, and you just see the freight, like this framework of scrap metal and spikes with like fire on the inside. Um, as he's just like, Aah! um, as flames are just jutting out of his mouth at this point, and he's going to roll on the wild surge. Seven. Seven. What is a seven? Uh, oh. Flowers and vines temporarily grow around me until my rage ends. The ground within 15 feet is difficult terrain for my enemies. Yep. For your enemies. That's, that's oddly specific. And yeah, for my... Yeah, for my... Yeah, all of the all of the wild magic barbarians are very specific. It's great. Um, so just as God is doing that, the flames die down and just vines fucking jut out. <laughs> Yep. I just have the question of does Galder see any of us as enemies? Um depends on how much money he gets at the end of this. Um <laughs> If he kills also, all of us, if he sees us all as enemies, he gets all the money. <laughs> your fellow behind Galder, by the way, is getting attacked dual handed. Um dual handed feet as well, so I've, so that is a 20 RID. And both get the things. That is 8 damage on the first one, 7 damage on the other one, um, plus the 2 damage on each for the melee, so that's plus 4. 8 plus 7 is 15 plus 4, that's 19 damage to him. This is why you dual wield as a barbarian. <laughs> he's looking rough. Yeah, but Gold is just carving into his thing. Um, if he's still alive, by the way. Uh, this poor dude. Um, extra attack. Okay. Oh, there's about to split him in half. <laughs> extra attack. Chop. A uh, nine misses. Um, but a 25 hits. That is, uh, that is going to be 10 more points of damage. Yeah. As Galder is just carving into his, like, the fucking back part of his kneecaps. Just like, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, he's looking extremely rough now after that. Alright. Uh, and with that, that is the end of Galder's turn. Yep. Just did a blue to interturn. Hmm. Yeah, again, it's that issue of ah, yes, the blue to interturn. I have totally misread how a warrior works. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> saying. She's an ex she's a weirdly physical sorcerer. So she's gonna head over to you. I must be touch. <laughs> She kind of is. She's built for more close combat stuff than range. Excuse me. 
That's she an like, interesting sorcerer, though, because you could definitely make, like, you could use that and make, like, a sorcerer or monk. That's meant to just, like, only has, like, touch spells. I punch touch. Yeah, she has some, like, stuff, like Thunderstep, which allows her to escape if she's getting too rough. But, um, mainly she's meant to use her Mantle of Flame, be in close combat, smacking stuff, boosting herself with her own spells. Guess what else she has in this first, though? What? She pulls out a sniper rifle. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, that works for her, to be fair. It does. Given that I saw that her dex bonus is essentially the same as the, uh, the other snipers. Yeah. Well, her dex bonus is exactly the same as Delrus's. Yeah. So she is hitting on the same bonus as the rest of the snipers. Because the twins physical traits, but not mental traits. She is going to take a pot shot at Sawbones. Woo! 22. Mm. Off by a little bit of measurement, but oh well. And that's what I was looking at. I was like, wait a minute, if I center this on you, I was like, it's not quite 15. <laughs> like, Oh, uh, that hits. Yep. I would still be in it. You are uh, the funnest part. Yeah. She is going to spend a sorcery point on top of this. How? Special special sniper rifle built for specifically for her. Shush, let the DM murder you, is what I'm, I'm hearing. Basically, just a nice tasty thing I had in whatever plan in this. Give me this gun in the other game. Question. <laughs> Possibly could. I, I, what do you think I've been think... setting these things up for? Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, oh, real I... talk. Alari gets a magical sorcery gun, but when Waffleberg wants a gun that shoots <laughs> fireballs, it's a no. <laughs> I see now. <laughs> Waffleberg is more dangerous <laughs> with a fire spell gun. So, 14 damage piercing. Uh-huh. And four damage fire. She channels her flames into the bullet. That's fine. It's yeah. not that much extra damage, but it's a little bit extra that she can do. And totally not my way of going, I've screwed up this character, I need to give her a way to attack up there, otherwise she's going to take ages getting into combat. What was the next, um, the fire damage, sorry? Four. Four. It just adds 1d4 fire damage to the thing. That's fair. I'm just, I am just was just asking because I needed to... Yeah. Chase! Mwah! It's you. Um, uh, that's difficult to rain only for enemies, yep. Yep, yeah. only, for, only for enemies. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Chase going guild there. Um, Echo is going to pop out again. Yep. And... He's going to kill somebody Probably else. Probably go for them. Just hear a click every time the uh, the echo comes out. Um, okay, so. If I've read this right, I get a ton of attacks now. Which is a bit crazy. Um, so. First things first, this boy. He dead. Yep, that hits. And that's a kill. Awesome. Um, you can't split up your attacks with extra attack, can you? Yeah, you can. Uh, you can attack twice instead of once whenever you take the attack action on your turn. The number of attacks increases. Blah, blah, blah. Um, no, I don't think I can. But I will. Yeah, Mr. Crawford confirmed you can. Well, that's not how it's worded. But, uh. Yeah, but you know what Crawford's like, huh? Crawford's case, I'll, uh, leveled spell per over. turn. Oh, we're still talking over, spells? Um... Oh, we're talking long swords. No, we're talking extra attack, but Crawford also said you could cast more than one leveled there, spell per turn. And. Yeah. Get another off. Shit. Woo. Hang on. 
Try to remember whereabouts you were roughly when you started. Um, I have had the way, but the hell, I was there. So, yeah, you would have needed a con to make a con save as well. Sorry. Oh, my bad. Okay, let's go. That were me. Sorry, I didn't notice. You would have passed fine. anyway. Lovely. So go uh, straight uh, through. What kind of dragonborn is Ch is Chase a green dragonborn? No, Chase oh, okay. is uh, a lizard folk. Uh, I knew it, and then somebody said dragonborn, and then I was like, oh, okay, well, cool. <laughs> and then... I'm dragonborn. So... And then the Echo gets to do some stuff. Yep. Uh, you just make attacks as if it was you, don't you? I believe so, yes. This yes. is incredibly dumb. Let's see what one was. Three. And yep. 16. 16 it also hits for 18 damage total. All on the... Whatever yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's... That's cap to yeah. That's person you've been sent to cap. And that is definitely all my uh, actions. Okay. Next up is Dowris. Those to bonus section, she dashes again, meaning that she gets in close combat with Chase. Yep. Let me see. We're actually here to kill the horses, guys. Just remember that. <laughs> Leave everybody else. <laughs> Okay. No, that's just a bonus action. We've already done bonus action to dash. I just had to look down to see what this does, because it's been a while. So. What? Huh? I had to look to see what this does. So. Chase. Yep. I don't know why it's asking nope. you to do the uh, thingy as well for half movement, but... Ish miss. Okay. Also, you should have advantage if uh, that thing's still alive. Oh, yeah. She is. So, 19 it would have been. Oh, that is just a hit. Yep. So, 10 damage and make me the con save. Con. That's a fail. Yep, so half movement. Oh, Oh, I was just saying, oh, you're doing Stunning Strike. Is that what that's for? Yeah. Yep. Where the hell do I find Stunning Strike on here to see? Oh, there mm -hmm. it is. I found it, I found okay. it, I found it. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say that it needs a bonus action to do that, so... Yeah, that's no, a but you, to do um, it. Yeah, you just spend the key point. Yep. And second attack, given she got extra attack. Is a sixteen, which I believe is a miss. Uh, all oh right, yeah, bonus. Uh, that's a miss. Yep. So that's the turn done, lady. Uh, Portland lady. Oh, oh. Jesus! Sorry. Um. <laughs> I don't want to do a con save, though. That is... a pass. I'll step up here. Yep. Oh, I have to do this. She's going to punch him. 18 hits. I'm just going to punch him again. I feel like that 10 fails. It does, but the 10 hits. Okay. So... Seven, yep. and then I'm gonna use my 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 bonus action okay. for flurry of blows. Holy shit! Yep, that one hits. It's another seven, and then I'm gonna burn one key point for one extra attack. Okay. Boo. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> that noise just <laughs> signified it all. A 12? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> that and that is, that is, yeah, that's me. Okay. It's sniper time. So. Cheers. Yep. One shot nope. misses. 21. That's it? Yep, so the second one hit you. Fifteen damage. Ooh. Explosion. And the third one is going to shoot at your echo. Okay. Your echo goes flat. <laughs> just... I'll just the bring four... it back to me. Yep. Poor echo. Just trying to help. With a <laughs> help with a kid. Uh, Sawbones. Kelp. Um, so. Right, right, right. Let's do this then. Left. Um. Yeah. It's alright. I'm sorry about your echo. Um. So. Also, did you guys add your d4 to attacks and stuff? I didn't. Uh, didn't have to. I, I had I had one that I could have, but I didn't. It would have been a 14 if I did. Just remember for next time that you. Yeah, yeah, I will. Or I will. I just like I got caught up in the in the hole. I'm a punch and then punch again and then punch again and then just keep punching. So as a bonus action. Um, I'm going to summon my spiritual weapon right here. Yep. So if I could have something just to kind of represent. I'm on it. More turrets? I mean, what? <laughs> no, not again. Not. <laughs> you can have... Get your spirited on here right now. Uh, just the thing, Sawbone's spiritual weapon manifests as a massive scalpel. <laughs> okay, that changes what I was going to put. <laughs> I was going to throw Umpa down, but it says giving oh. us a scalpel. That's <laughs> uh, Mundo. Uh, oh my god, that's more horrifying. Also, give me control of it, please. <laughs> give uh... you control of Mundo, do you know the power of this? <laughs> Uh, so as soon as it lands, it will make an attack. Yep, because uh, uh, this is what I did quite literally twice in yesterday's game. It's a 20. It's a hit. Uh, I don't even know why I'm checking when it's a quite literally case of A, it's a 20, and B, you already know if this hits still Delrus or not. I actually do, but, yeah, you know, still because, you know. Because, you know, evasion, but I don't think that works here. No, it doesn't. It works for area of effect. Um, but then... Um, that was my bonus action to do that. Mm -hmm. And... doesn't particularly say I can do another attack with it, because it says as a bonus action you can do another attack with it, but it's weird because it, it's a bonus action to cast it. Yeah, you, know. you, you only get the one action to do it. I believe as well, we found out yesterday that technically you can't also cast a spell in your as an action if you cast a spell as your bonus action. I mean, you can if it's a cantrip. Yeah, like a leveled spell, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... 
Uh, I'm not really within range of anyone. Uh, fine, okay, I'm just going to use my action to then... Uh, dash up to there. Okay. Um, and that is me. Yep, it is goal. Always believe in your soul. You've got the power to know. <laughs> Uh, Discord doesn't believe in latency. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I jinxed this now. Um, <laughs> You've jinxed the, the Ohm's connection. What? You were roboting while you were singing. Was I? Yeah. <laughs> You're not roboting now, oddly enough. It was just when you were singing. I think it was noise suppression doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So what is Gold doing? Time, baby! I didn't even realise. Alright, let's have a look at how the field has changed. What's the range of this? Oh. Wait a second. So it's the furthest most it's the first furthest imperative threat sixty feet away. Actually, yes. Is there enough threats to justify doing that? Kinda. Oh, I'll have to like, get up from prom, which would cost a bit too much time. I mean getting up from prawn's just half your movement, so Unless you yeah, want to move uh... as well, you could use that to get up and then use the rest of your movements to go prone again. No, no, that's not the problem I was having. I was going to move over and possibly use a spell, but okay. uh, I wouldn't get far enough. Just fire. How is that physical melee doing? I've been somewhat listening, but I can't seem to recall. Are we generally winning, losing, somewhere between? I mean, we're doing well. We're having the shit kicked out of us. One of them's dead. Uh, Chase seems to be getting sniped a bit. Right, that usually means no, everyone's doing fine. Don't ever worry about this, right? Yeah, um, Chase, Chase looks fine, all things considered. Bubble Ones is fine. Two choices here. Yeah, this I I think this makes sense. So I'm gonna it, it's it's time to call it. Um, I'm gonna cast summon aberration. Okay. Choose a point within ninety feet to summon, and it will be here because that's really convenient. Okay. <laughs> Do you... Its initiative is immediately after mine. Do you need something to represent? No, nope, I already did it. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, give you I'll even. For that. Are you ready for this? Just, just a little boop, and then I'll just modify it to be right. Um. Yep. I can't move it. That's one thing you will have to do for me. Yeah, there you go. So. There we go. Well, that's been an entire turn. That was impressive. Um. Is that your <laughs> is that your time? Uh I do believe I don't have any bonus actions particularly, but do give me a second. I'm of course this isn't a character I've played before. Yeah, no, I don't fine. have any bonus actions. So then it will be their turn. Yep. Um I'm just gonna give it a health bar for my own sanity. Alright. 
So first of all, uh, how, how how are these two looking? How is um, how how is Delris Red doing, and how is Snack doing? Uh, Delris Red is doing kind of fine at the moment. Uh, Snack, so so. I will start beating the shit out of Snack. Um, so it's gonna go oh, for Snack and Slam. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Uh, nine psychic damage. Uh, yeah. And, uh, again. Ooh. Is this all on the stack? Yep. Fourteen is a miss, so just takes the nine. Uh, yeah, that's fair. That it? Oh, hello. Ooh. Uh. Oh, I apologize. I didn't notice this. Um, each creature within five foot of it needs to make me a wisdom saving throw. No, I don't. Oh, get a <laughs> oh dear. Needs to make a. Oh, fucking dear. Needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Yeah, so both of the uh, both of them need to make a wizzy save. Within ten foot, was it? At uh, five foot. Oh, five foot, okay. So do you want to add your son? So. Cassiopa does have advantage on this, apparently. Which she might need, given that she actually gets a plus one, so yeah. Uh, it's against my spell save DC, which means that she fails. Yep. And um, Doris gets... Also a 13, so that's also a fail. Uh, all of them take 10 psychic damage. Okay. Chase knows this is you. <laughs> <laughs> Chase will remember this. Um... <laughs> It will probably it will feel like something is whispering, gnawing in the back of your head. The bigger and question, if you look, and you just look to your side, and there is just this faceless hooded figure, the biggest, just there now. The look to the hooded figure back at the freaking goal. <laughs> the biggest question is: do, Does Galden know that it's an ally? Oh, I mean, it's kicking the shit out the snake. And you'll just hear from the back of the room, Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> I did that! No idea what you're saying, and I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> so, that boy there with that rifle's going to move down there. The rifle boys. Two of them are going to shoot saw bombs. That's an interesting ammunition type. Nat 20. Mm-hmm. And a miss. Like that needed a response. Nat 20? No. Uh, I'm not a cleric who took shield. 14 damage. 14? Yep. That's already doubled. And the other one is going to take a shot at Chase, because Chase is the closest one again. Also in that 20s. Good loud. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got anything against that. 12 damage, Chase. Yep. It's Cassiopeia's turn. Ugh. So. Oh, yeah, I should have done that as well, but I forgot. It's fine by now. Okay, so what can she do? I see what it is. <gasps> what? 
No, sorry, I just saw there was an error on something. There was an error on the drawing, and I was like, where the fuck is it? Okay. And I've just found it. So ignore, ignore me, I'm just... Yep. So, she is going to go ahead and... I don't know if this will work on this, but it'll be an interesting thing to see. She reaches her hand out, and a puff of smoke appears underneath your creation there, Jack. Yep. A 13 will miss, I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. First, second attack. Oh no, this will work! No, says roll 20. No, it will not. Yep. Her second attack is... Oddly enough, going to be on Chase. That's not odd. <laughs> and that is also a miss. Jesus. Don't forget your advantage. Oh, uh, yeah. No. no. <laughs> That's her turn done. It is Shotgun Boy's turn. The Shotgun Boy is in range of chase. Yes, he is. <laughs> I had a moment that I were pointed to a Ralph person like this person is in range. Wait, no, wait, wrong person. No, wait, he still is. 15, 20, 25. It's getting changed there. And this boy's going to have to dash. So, Shotgun Boy A. Is taking game at chase. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. Jesus. The boss <laughs> can't hit to save her life. Random peons crits all the way. <laughs> Let's not have another triple crit incident, please. Oh, you said it, now it's happening. Yep. And you want to know where it's going to happen? It's going to happen to me, because that's how it happened last time. Uh, oh wait, that should have been 46, so let me just roll that again, but without the free, because it crit. Uh, 14 damage. Aye, aye. Second one is aiming squirrely at Sawbones. And misses. Bring it. He can't For failure. He misses. Ew. <sighs> okay. Disgusting. Disgusting. This person here is the doctorate. It's oh. running up here. I bet you faked your doctorate. <laughs> you say that, but he rolls with a written plus four. It's written on toilet paper. Vicious. Things are Vicious. heating up in the PhD fandom. Just like Soulbones does vicious mockery despite not having spell. Night, mum. Oh, my phone. Make sure you do all oh, this tomorrow. That was we'll do all this before I go out, because I've got to go get my medicine from doctor and that. Okay. That was shit, but it still helped a little bit. That's his turn done. Yeah. Uh, Soulbones, you see him rush up. Let's start to patch this guy up. <laughs> your your uh, insults worked. <laughs> he's, a field, he's a field medic. Yeah, the insult worked. He still healed him up, but he healed him up by one. <laughs> like, you suck! <laughs> My Felix. <laughs> Taking on this poor guy. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Yeah, he can make it. And I believe there is one more of these guys somewhere. I just need to try and find where he was. Where was there not? No, there was. He died. So. 
they are in position. Instead of attacking this turn, you see all three of these guys reach over to the crates and start to try and tip them into the water. Bitch. What's in the crates? That's my question. I'm like right here. Seems to be a viscous so green... Someone's just looking at that like going, ah, oh, you're making me money. Seems to be a viscous green <laughs> liquid. Oh, it's poison. They're going to poison the water supply. The this most is... stereotypical trope for like a Western bad guy. I was the about to call you out like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you took my sort of thunder. I was poisoned to work I the supply. Yourself. Now everybody did. Listen Oops. here, Wally. Um... <laughs> what? Fresh hand wash downstairs. Next time, bring it up. Okay. Obviously you need it, don't you? Okay. Yeah. This crate is oh. in the water. This crate is in the water. This guy is struggling to get it off the ground because each time he tries, the portion of the lady is probably just slapping the crates with her umbrella and being like, no, no, <laughs> no. But two crates are in. Lava out on myself. Uh, Goldie. Oddly enough, Goldie, you do not need to make me a constitution save because she is not looking in your direction anymore. Coolio. Um, I imagine Goldie is going to pick up this crate, the first crate. Okay, uh, it should be noted, the water is quite deep here. Oh, is the water deep? Yeah. It's not like a case of, like, it just slowly slides in. It's like a little bit of a drop into the water. Ah, then in that case, Scalder wouldn't be able to do that. Um... Calder really doesn't give a shit about the townsfolk. He wasn't told to stop their plan. He was just told to kill them. And Galder is dumb. Um... <clears throat> Galder's gonna go here. Okay. Galder's oh, gonna oh, God. pick up this crate. Okay. If he can. As a reaction, the guy in front is going to try and take it back. So I guess it's an opposed grapple check on the box. So uh, that... Galder, Galder would like to remind you that he is in difficult terrain. I don't know if that actually affects this. It does not. Okay. It only affects if he picked it up and tried to run off with it. So... Before, yep. <laughs> he just gives it to you. <laughs> he just kind of tries to pick it up, and you just kind of plop. He's like, it nope. Yeah. Yeah. Calder is going to look at the crate. Look at him. Look at the crate. Look at him. He's just a normal dude, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Cold is gonna smack him with the crate. <laughs> as in lifting it. Oops, sorry. Reflux. As in bopping him on top of the head with it, just swinging it wildly at him, or chucking it. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's, going, it's going right on top of his head. Okay. So make me. Uh, Improvised weapon attack, I suppose this would be. Uh, I don't know if that. Hits. Thirteen does not miss. Uh, does not hit. Uh, Thirteen does not uh, miss. Savage attacker, then. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Reloading roll twenty. <laughs> uh. Oh well. That's a miss. Gold yep. is just going to put it down. He's going to uh, look at the fellow. Would be a lot. He's going to Oh, go. Mm -hmm. No, what were you saying? I was just saying whose turn it was next. But if Golder has something else to do quickly. Yeah, I mean, Golder's. Golder's a barbarian. He gets uh, the extra attack. Yep. 
Um, he's just gonna put the thing down, look up at the man, pull out his blunderbuss. <laughs> Why is it all 13s? Yeah, that is I'm quite reloading. impressive. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm reloading my D and D Beyond. <laughs> So at this point, I think you might need to do a computer restart if you try turning it off. And there on. we go. There we go. I don't know which one you want to take. It was away. a nine, a nine, and an eight. It was the thirteen, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, so it gets to Lyrie's turn, and she is doing this with disadvantage because she has tried to shoot. <laughs> She's tried to shoot a hole. Oh. 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 Been that a is, lot of ones on our side this fight. That is a big old miss. Is Chase. that a is that a misfire and jam as well? Okay, yes, I am no longer stunned. What sorry? I will begin with. You're beginning with a constitution, Seth. Why? Because she is looking in your direction. Oh, okay. Uh it's going up this way. It's her ultimate. Don't forget, you can add a d4 to saves and attacks. <laughs> I will. God. Jericho feels that feeling, huh? Hey, you know the bodic inspiration? That's my entire class gimmick. You Use it! You turned that from a meat and beat to just a beat. <laughs> Very well. Okay. I will begin with through the air. Mm. There's lots of fatties up there. You could go to hell. Okay. Alrighty. How is Snake Lady looking? Rough. Okay. Let's uh, let's try and fix that. Oh, um, thank, you. thank you for the heels. <laughs> Just heal her just to prove you're better than her, medic? No, it's just to refine the pain. Okay. No, that'd be something Sawbones would do. You heal her so that I can stunning strike her and knock her prone, and then we kill everybody else and take her with us. I would <laughs> like to state that Sawbones is the fourth Doctor character in this. And now I just clicked in my mind that the original Doctor character of the town was Waffleberg, and Waffleberg's dead. Yeah. Let's do a bop. Yep. And a bop. So 17 damage in total. Oof. Yes. Um. Is she looking near death yet? She is getting there. Very uh, much getting there. Okay, how how do this? Um, also, this thing isn't still dealing damage, is it? Oh, the thing that... Uh... No, I believe that was just uh, when it summoned effects, if I recall right there, uh, Jack. Okay. This is this right. uh, No, no, it's at the start of every turn. At the start? Okay, so... Oh. Sorry, not the start of every turn, the start of every one of its turns. Fucking right, hell. Okay, so I have a chance to move away. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Good. Um, I imagine at the I start will... of every turn. You see the <laughs> yeah. turn on more than ten people, you go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Um, okay. Um, Chase will click something in on their armor, and they will heal. Okay. Fourteen. And then... It's time for action surge. Let's do more swangs. That's a miss. Oh my. Oh Ooh. my. So, so I've got a thing for crits. So first of that. Yep. If they survive. 16 damage there. Yep. They survived. 
Lovely. They have disadvantage on all attack rolls. Oof. It is it now with Delaris. It's weird hearing that and knowing that uh, that's actually a bad thing. It's not yeah. Delaris. Yay, oh no. <laughs> is this how the Cerebrate fight would have turned out? <laughs> so. And I believe that this is still with advantage because she is still flanking your chest. Uh, yeah. Delaris gets advantage. Yep. One punch. Miss. Let me see what I need to spend for... Where the hell is your... What? Key points? I think, I think they have extra attack regardless. Mm -hmm. oh, I wasn't there. I was looking to see where Dion's listed uh, flurry. A flurry of blows is a bonus action. So you get your two attacks, you get your bonus action, and then you can burn your key point to okay. attack again. So second attack. It's in the key. Like it's literally. Yeah. It's because I normally list them as a different thing when I when I make a monk, so I got confused. Uh, yep, that's a, that's a solid hit. Yeah, so that's pointy damage. Bonus action flurry of blows. Oh, oh dear. Wah. Wah, 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 wah. And then, of course, given it was a key point spent, there is another flurry of blows coming your way. Flurry of blows gets more attacks. Oh my! Uh, flurry of blows gives you two attacks. That's great. Uh, that's another hit. So yeah. let me work this out. Twenty-seven damage total. So he quite literally just there, about to get one more hit down on Snake, and then you just get stuck, start getting punched in the back of the head. Just. Oh yeah. Uh, ow, <laughs> this no. mask has so many freaking dents in it now. Ow! Stop! No, please. <laughs> this is revenge for all the times they hit me over the head. Uh. I did nothing. <laughs> yeah, Kepi never did. Uh, Porcelain. Porcelain lady, it is you. Yeah, just give me one second. Sorry, my manager uh, okay. just messaged me something. Um, <sighs> I'm gonna slap the bitch. Gavin. Uh, Is they still they... standing? Seven damage on this boy. They are. Eight. Slap the bitch. Uh, Fifteen hits. Ten. They're still standing, but oof. Slap the bitch. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Every <laughs> time! <laughs> Fourteen? That's a meat and beat. Okay. 11 damage. It's just you just slap them twice with your umbrella. Another third one, they just kind of parry it. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. She only she fights with her fists. Uh, her umbrella is sheathed right now. She doesn't fight with a weapon. Okay. It's just there. Um, yeah. Is that you? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold. Yep. hold it's Sniper Boy's turn. One of them is shooting at Sawbones. It'll be the one at the middle, though, because the one at the top can't see Sawbones from there because of rocks. So, Sawbones, 24. That hits. High rollers today. 10 damage. The one at the top that can't see Sawbones is going to take a shot at... Hmm. They're going to roll something just quickly. 
take a the sh take a shot at the guy that looks like he's gonna call me maidenless. Uh, I was rolling between the four to see who they were gonna try and shoot, and they are going to shoot Waffle Bur <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> shoot Waffle Burger, he's not even in this dimension. You're gonna shoot Waffle Burger, yeah. just go back to the dead body on the track and just put a bullet in it. Well, no, we'll just like, we'll get to the campaign, like, and we start the fight, and then out of nowhere, a bullet, interdimensional bullet, comes out and just like whizzes, like, hits Waffle Burger. Uh, just a Zoe like portal <laughs> opens. I, I, I like to think Waffle Burger's not even actually dead. Like, they filled him with bullets, but because 90% of him is metal, and in this world, that wouldn't make him, like, scrap metal thing. Um, he's just, like, somewheres on a fucking beach thing, drinking a martini. Uh, 17 on Golda, though. He found the Oasis. Oh, that, that's, a, that's a miss. Yep. And the third one is actually going to take their turn to unjam Alari's weapon. As Alari just thrust the, like, sniper rifle in defense, like, Fix this. <laughs> That's what you get when you're the boss. You can bully the other people, peons around to do your shit for you. The wonderful thing about that is... Never mind. There was going to be a joke there, and then I forgot the joke. <laughs> that is the joke. That is the joke. Subbones. One second. Like, literally, just give me one second. Um, I, I totally forgot I could have done a thing, but that's okay. Right, so... Constitution save. Oh! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That is... pain. So... Oddly enough, this works if the saving throw fails by five or more. Given that and that one, I, I think that applies here. So, Bones. Mm -hmm. You just kind of catch the glimpse of Cassiopeia. And Chase, you're the closest one to it, to him. Her. So, Bones' gender is still indeterminate. <laughs> Don't worry, I never get there, huh? <laughs> You see Sawbones, petrify. Probably making that Great. noise as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Sawbones is turned to stone. Oh, fucking kidding me. <laughs> stone to flat. Petrifying ga gaze. Uh, any creature that she sees at the start, any any creature that sees, yeah, at the start of her turn, we're in very foot, needs to make a saving throw if they aren't if she isn't incapacitated and can see them. If the saving throw fails by five or more, the creature is instantly petrified. Oh, if I'd have known, it was coming from her eyes. <laughs> One, I'd have been going for the eyes, and two, I have blind sight. I mean, I have hinted at this. Quite literally, when the, it first happened, when I said, "Go, you lock eyes with her, and you feel a tingle." I have dropped hints towards this. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> it helps to pay attention to words. So, unfortunately, your medic is stone. I have been paying attention. Yeah, too much. Stop looking at things that turn you to stuff. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> cool. It is you. Oh, sorry. I thought you said call. Um, took me a moment to go. Hang on. There's no call. Um, <laughs> our Rister, introducing our guest star for tonight. Alrighty, I apologize, but there's a lot of stuff going on behind me to the point that I can't really do too much at the moment, so I'm going to have to pop. So, yeah, okay. Bye. Alrighty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sorry that this is taking a bit longer, by the way. Alright, uh, because I have, um...
the aberration out on the field is a little bit harder for me to, um, well, do a lot, to be honest. So, at this point, I am I am an Eldritch Blast cannon. That's, that's what I do now. Um, how's that snack looking? Very, very, very rough. As in, like... Please. Yeah? Like, please. What? Kill her. I will say this. If Jace had just hit a little bit harder, she'd be dead. That's how much health she's got remaining. Oh. This is how you are. Different ones. Alright, let's go. Eldritch Blast. Q. That hit her? That hit her. 13 force damage. And just as she looks about ready to strike uh, Chase... She gets just beamed on the side of the head with an Eldritch Blast and goes down. <laughs> and and then uh, the next one's going on Fireboy. On Delris. Okay. Which I'm pretty sure isn't a boy, but everyone's a boy when it's me, so let's go. Um, I think that's... Uh... Where's 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 Blue Delrus? Blue Delrus is over there. So yeah, uh, this is on Red Delrus. Yep. Um, because I've forgotten which is which, and I will never ever remember for some reason. Um, Pew. That's a meet and beat. Oh, beat that meat with eight force damage. She can't. She's gay. She don't beat the meat. You can still beat meat. <laughs> Just, it's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that your turn? Uh, yes, I uh, will go back to prone yeah. because no one's even trying to fight me. I mean, it's working um, wonders. Um, to and be it's fair, time for... I tried to snipe you, but she got on that one and jammed a gun. So, at the end of your turn, with Cassiopeia down, the gang are going to try and flee. Well, even the, even the, even the fireboys? Yeah, they're realising that the turn of battle is not really working out too well for them <laughs> right now. Plus, you know, All the right. water's already been dumped in the supply. Well, the water's already been poisoned now. Yeah. So, Chase, you can get an attack of opportunity. Your creature here can get an attack of opportunity. I have no um, idea if your spiritual weapon would still be working or not, that uh, deal. It's not concentration, so it just kind of stays there. In that case, and you could like... have got an attack on your turn by popping even if you were stunned. Yeah, well, I'd still need to use my bonus action to command it, but oh, yeah. it can still it can still I, take I, a reaction. Yeah. So, bonus actions from you three, as Delris just um, tries to leg it. Petrified. Yeah. Uh, you can't take actions or reactions Act while petrified, so you'd be completely fucked. <laughs> mm. Such. Um... Go on, I'll let your operation go first. That's a hit. This is a massive re. I, I wanted more damage. <laughs> 12 psychic. Yep. <laughs> and, uh... After the amount of, <laughs> of the amount of damage the punches have done to Chase, they will actually lift their mask and go for a savage-looking bite. Okay. Um, and probably miss, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a miss. So, as the then old... just falls to the floor. <laughs> as they all start to flee throughout the different areas of the cave, I'm still pew pewing. Yep. You see, Delris, hop over to here, and I should get on one of the horses and just ride off. Alari just turns and. Walks deeper into the cave this way. And you are left with the very much defeated body of Cassiopeia. Wait, everybody laughed? Yeah, uh, Cassiopeia went down, so everyone were like, 
The water's already poisoned now. We've done our part. Uh, did we have a chance to salvage the uh, poison crates so they stopped leaking at least? Uh, two of them have gone in, unfortunately. Still but, well, I, can, but, uh, I can go after them. How many turns has it been? Technically, it hasn't even gotten around to Golda's turn yet, so... It is deepish water, by the way. That's the issue. Yep. So I'm lizard folk. I can breathe underwater. Oh, that is fair. Uh, and I have a swimming speed. Make me a investigation check then as you dive in. Okay. Mm, D4. <laughs> Are we now out of turn order? Yeah. Oh, goodness! Oh, that was quite the engagement! Ooh, got a few good ones on that one! I'm really sorry about the psychic whispers. <laughs> Well, here's a question. Now that everybody's gone, could we try to resuscitate her? You do try. You do get one of the crates, though. The star spirit will just approach her. I'm like, no, no, stay just over there. I don't want to listen to you. Grabs it and chucks it out of the water and let, let it get smashed over the floor. Yep. Uh, Goldie does still have one retained. So, it's actually put an antidote. Could be made, made, but there's one slight issue with that. Your doctor's fucking stoned. <laughs> stoned. Um, really sorry, but uh, turning stone back to flesh isn't something I know. <laughs> I could throw her. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help. I mean, she isn't. She, well, she is stoned. She's not rooted to the ground. I mean, she'd make a very nice statue. Well, I guess I'll give it a try. I'll attempt to pick her up. Take her with us. Yeah. Take him with us, sorry. Uh, make me a strength check. It's, it's, they, it's just they. They don't, they haven't told Take you. Take them with us, there we go. Yeah, you do manage to pick them up. You just see this one looks like fragile lady. The question Alrighty, is, how, let's go. The question is, how are you going to transport her back? Transport them back to town. <laughs> she's Isn't gonna. Like she's just or... gonna. I'm just gonna straight up walk and carry her, and then or carry them, and then every time, <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna <laughs> die. Um, carry them, and then every time that she like starts to like falter or like. She's just gonna set her, set them down. Jesus Christ! Okay, uh, kill me now. While you're doing that, so she's yeah. So Sylvine, that's, I'm even getting myself wrong. I'm gonna go and throw chase. myself into the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go and chase. You two yep. can make me a perception check. Well, that's happening. <laughs> just jump off with the statue. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, you both still hear neighing of at least two horses, and Gull, you do see one wagon still remaining. Those strange quadrupedal things you like to ride on. What do you call them? Ah, oh, yes, prostitutes. I'm kidding. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Lay, do I have full permission to take me and Dion into this into this area over here? <laughs> Walk off, save us right. the trouble now. In that case, Chase will go and start setting up the wagon, <laughs> checking there's nothing inside, no traps or anything. There are no traps or anything inside. There just seems to be provisions. Like oddly enough, it seems to be like a merchant's wagon. Awesome. Let's uh, load the snake onto it as well. Yep. Bound them in case they're still alive. How's the um? That is a good <sighs> question. I need to. How, how, how's the? How, how's the? Did the uh, one with a PhD get killed? Uh, no, they ran. The doctor ran. Sad. Um. <laughs> I mean, she has passed one death saving throw. Oh. Oh. She's getting bound. 
just in case. Oh, yeah, no, like, I'm just making it to see if she eventually passes or fails because there's fail on the way. How if you she, bind a snake she, is beyond me, but you know. If she passes fully, bind her hands, tie her hands to her tail. If she passes fully, she'll still remain out cold. This is essentially to see if you're bringing her back dead or alive. Just put okay. super glue on her tail and pull it in her oh, mouth. No. She's dead. Oh, she's she fucking dead. That's fine. So. Finish your bones. We need her. In, we need them in Grayscale. <laughs> um, but yes. while while, uh, while while we're preparing this wagon, um, uh, Goal will pick Yay. up the one body of this singular bandit that was killed during the fight, and lob it on the on the uh, carriage. Okay. Uh, which of you two are going to make me a animal handling to, for the horses? Uh, not not gonna be me. me. Currently holding a statue, I don't think they'd think that I was super friendly. So, Chase? Um... You know, act friendly, let alone look friendly. I, that's, I, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, because I would roll for Goldo, but... I don't have... Then again, I could probably... Goldo will probably try to eat you. their ankles. It's... it's... me. It's fine enough. You must get them hooked up. Eventually. Yep. Probably by force. <laughs> and all three of you, hop on the wagon and head on out. Gold has just lobbed a random body on the swag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Gold is on the wagon as well. He's still got the poison crate that re remained unsmashed. And along the way, oh. you pick up Rana's character. And you do oh, eventually... As well as it could have been. You do eventually pass the porcelain lady, still s s carrying along the storm body <laughs> of Sorbonne's. <laughs> Give me one second, I want to yes. see something. Make Sorbonne's big. Make Sorbonne's big. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'm going to pick up my pace. <laughs> <laughs> so you hear a wagon coming, so it's just like, nope, 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 no, no, no. It's just enough to hear the wagon coming, and it's like, hoof it. Their soul bones is big. Porcelain lady. That's a big soul bone. I've been drawing this the entire fucking session. We hang can on, tell. We can, hang on, hang we on. can hear the happy taps. Hang on, hang on. There's something I need to do now for this. And now there isn't someone bitching there we go. 24-7. <laughs> Give it a more storm wash. <laughs> it's petrified. But yes. Yeah. Personally, it's just like the doctor still has to get paid. The doctor helped us. Uh, you see a wagon. <laughs> Doctor's coming. alive. You see a wagon coming up on you. And yep, the rest of them are on the front of the wagon. Hmm. Does it look like there might be space in the back? There is. The space for you and the statue. Uh, she's going to set statue doctor um, on the thing, and she is going to set her umbrella on there as well, which is very much lightening the load. Yeah. Um, that, that'll probably take up the, her space, and she's just going to run alongside the, like like alongside the cart and just like keep pace with them also I just realized something that I just need to say <laughs> so what? like the whole thing of ah yes we've seen what the version of Alarian Dowers are like in here mm. I just imagine this world's version of Cody is just a train conductor <laughs> literally just like freaking looks like the rubber band cartoon train conductor pretty much <laughs> Actually, she's going to keep pace behind the cart, and can I roll an arcana to see if, like, they've turned to stone, or if this is a stone shell? Uh, they seem petrified. I have nothing to help you. <laughs> no, because, uh, the thing that cures it is greater restoration or other such magic. 
So eventually you will all make it back into town. You pull up the wagon outside of the tavern. And most of us didn't die! Yep. And the sheriff will look to you all. Yeah, all but one made it back. Just saw one there. made it back! Just a little... Hey! Did you see the porcelain lady, like, walk in with Sawbones? Sawbones made it. I'll, uh, I'll walk to Caitlin and be like, this one needs turning back if you're, uh, if you wish for an antidote for your town. The water supply is about to get poisoned. Okay. Roll me a persuasion with advantage there. <laughs> she just looks you all. I suppose I could see what I can do, but unfortunately, I will have to take some of my share out of the rewards just to reimburse me for the materials needed for it. It's not a oh. cheap spell. Well, then. Be yeah, her as, payments cheap anyway. as, as, as cheap as it is not for a spell, I guess at the same time we could also leave the poison in the water and just take our money and the good doctor with us. You met me persuasion with a with us? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Chase just like looks to goal as if to say, <laughs> quiet. Sorry, yes, she's coming with us. Ha 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 Is that better? I suppose <laughs> there is. I suppose there's no real money to be made if the town is gone. That's exactly my thought. The... I would rather have everybody alive and fair. Imagine what it would do for your reputation if one of your parties actually came back alive! <laughs> Goal looks dead pan, are they? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the traffic collapses only in one specific spot, straight on goal. <laughs> See, I was, I was just about to say, I was just about to say that, like, the porcelain lady just actually draws out the umbrella for once and just, like, slams it over his head. <laughs> like, for once, would you just not speak? You're so, gonna get yourself shot. So, she will walk up to the statue. And she will cast Greater Restoration after pulling out a pouch of what seems to be diamond dust to use as it is consumed. So, Bond, your vision slowly comes back to you as you feel yourself able to move once more. As you find yourself just in like, the tavern. Just kind of voice I was like, son of a bitch! Chase will clap. <laughs> that was a most impressive magical feat. You come or some lady is going to pull Caitlin to the side. And give her a small pouch of half, like roughly half of the diamond dust that she used. I know how expensive it can be, but hopefully that this helps. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Candy. Speaking of which, I suppose a reward is an offer here. You, I know it's not going to matter much because this is a one shot. So uh, yeah, you all get handed 500 gold each. Oh! And I hand mine, I hand uh, Porcelain Lady hands her half to Galder. There you go, little friend. It's not like I need it anyway. <laughs> oh dear, he's going to buy more explosives. And as you all celebrate the night with drinks and, and music. Oh, the Porcelain Lady heads back out of the tavern into the desert. Yeah, at some she point Gol is going to sneak off, off and... Um... Oh, this uh, is the thing. Uh, Before you even get a chance to sneak off, uh, a portal opens up in the tavern. Oh my, and this is early. I was expecting that in about three days. And out of it <laughs> steps a well armed person. Hang on. Oh, never mind. I was expecting some old mage or something. Not mine. Any of you call for a taxi? 
<laughs> sake. I just need to upload this picture to here. Hopefully it will do so without screaming at me that, no, you don't have the room to. Porcelain lady grabs Gall, as annoying as you are, Mary Poppins, oh, and <laughs> float away into the distance. Right. Just like, you see yeah, no, 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 this figure step out of the portal. <sighs> it's a pulse fire, Caitlin. Oh shit, we're going to fucking destiny, lads. <laughs> she just steps out and aims the gun at you. We've been looking for you for some time, the girl. Time to bring you in. You. And that's oh, where we're leaving. That's where we're ending. I murdered this your husband months ago. You <laughs> can't still be mad about it. And this is where we're ending the one shot. Well, that would be hard <laughs> since she's gay as fuck and has a wife. <laughs> that's when I murdered him. Probably why she has a wife now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, where, that's where we're ending the one shot. Come this way! I brought a body back! I'm hungry! So, as we zoom out from the view here in High Noon, back to the nexus of the multiverses, as we zoom back in to the group preparing to fight fresh, we will see you next time on the Dark Tides of Rune Terror. If Sawbones does end, ever end up in a main game, they're just going to be as like tech, like as like hillbilly esque as they are still now. Sawbones Perfect. is going to end up in the Dark Tides of Rune Terror as a statue Easter egg. It's like no. <laughs> That'll be when Pinko rejoins the party. Trust just, me. Again, wakes up from it. It's like son of a bitch. Trust me. My original idea for this fight was going to be worse. Because initially you was going to fight High Noon Cory. <laughs> like, son of a bitch, why does this keep happening? <laughs> I know it. See you all next time. <laughs>